so here we go, the 76ers to start. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. DeRozan and Williams are the forwards. Lonzo Ball out there with Atrium. And it's Vucevic in at the center position. You can just see how decisive Harris is. Effective at catching passes and just firing quickly. Outside Williams. Back to Ball. A three ball. Rebound by the 76ers. with it to the middle there's Embiid and the dunk by Embiid and how about that reach of Embiid using those long arms that just gobble up second chance opportunities Williams passes to Santos now ball to the inside and he drops in the layup off the glass and once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. And Bede kicks to Harris. Vucevic with the block. Well timed by Vucevic. Not a center. Of the night from a charity strike, and he makes both free throws. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. Ball, the pass to Santos. Aiden with it. Williams picks him up, and it's good for two. Moving downhill, Harden can be so wily. Cutting through the deep, right to a shot. All of a bit from Santos. Sanchez. Over Maxi. A train can't get it to drop. The 76ers have gone three or five shooting the ball so far. And Harden with this stop. What an athlete Harden is. Gets off the ground so fast to hammer it down. Ball, the pass to Sanchez. Now the pass to Vucevic. Out to the right wing. Stripped it away. Harden has a wide open look. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. For Chicago, they've gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Yep, that one goes in there. Got it in close. And unless it's an open three, that's the key to efficient offense. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. He kicks to Harris. And Bede sets the pick for Harris. And foul on the shot. Nikola Vucevic. That's his first personal foul. Second game foul. Job of drawing the foul. And Harris drops them both. Bulls trail by nine. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. He got for his DA. Hey, Kevin, I was able to talk with Doc Rivers a few minutes ago. He spoke about his approach coming into game one. He said, we can't let our guard down. Being the higher seed means nothing if you come out flat. We have to play as though we have something to prove. The last thing we want is to lose home court. Let's see if they can come out with that energy that their coach is asking for. Thanks, David. Here's ball after the Sixers pick up two. A train can't get it to drop. Outside, Maxi. MB against Vucevic. AT that time for Vucevic. Bulls trail by 11. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Here's A-Train. He's covered by Max. The shot's good. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the... Coverage continues. 76ers shooting really well. 54% from the floor. So with Vucevic on the bench, here's the group Billy Donovan has on the floor. We've got Armstrong. Iguodala out there with A-Train. And it's Kobe White. And it's Terry in at the two. And for the Bulls, they're shooting a meager 37% for the game. Armstrong with the screen on right. Santos, the pass to Armstrong. 76ers foul. Paul Reed. That's his first personal foul. 
Hurts team foul. At the line to the blow. Good on the second free throw. And the 76ers with possession. Right outside. This is it to the end. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Melton against Terry. A train. Good. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Melton feeling it out a bit. That shot is off. So the Bulls will take it the other way. To the middle. Here's Santos. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Right against White. White, the pass to Niang. Five to shoot. Inside, it's tipped. Reed misses. Look, the defense was locked in on him there. They know how dangerous he can be, and they guarded him perfectly. And DeLon Wright hits the whistle that time. That's his first foul. And Philadelphia making a change here. Beverly's checked in. Coming up to the fourth here, Sixer. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. Bulls moving the ball around. Pocket six. Santos, the pass to White. Trains it from beyond the arc. Man, you have got to honor White on the perimeter. Once he gets comfortable from there, it's going to be bad news for the defense. Now here's Wright. And Beverly kicks to Wright. And Reed is screen. Wright dishes to Reed. It's three on three on the fast break. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. Manipulating the defense. He hits one and misses one each at the line. Well, 76ers have gone 104 since the end of the third quarter. And Beverly kicks to house. Back to Beverly. Can they get it? It's good from one. Passes it to Basco. Me, to the inside. A-Train, good. And that's now 24 points for A-Train. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? Outside, Crowder. There's the triple. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got assist number five here tonight. Meet your point guard. Harden stirs the drink for you as effectively as he scores. Here's a train. And the rejection by Harold. And the 76ers Darryl with some changes. Drummond comes in for Harold. And it's the Anthony Melton in for James Harden. Dex checked in for the Bulls. Now here's White. Terry outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Shooting foul. Andre And he's good on the second. Now here's Wright. We've got 155 left in the fourth quarter. Drummond with a screen on White. Here's Wright with the drive. Chicago grabs the miss. The defense really made this an uphill battle, and he just couldn't get there. Here's A-Train. It's blocked. A tremendous boost for these guys as this game winds down and what will be a win here in game one of the series for the 76ers.
important as one-sided as it gets today. You know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And it's really got to feel very good to be able to jump out confidently to a 1-0 lead in this series. Absolutely. And I think their focus now has to be not on taking this win for granted. They should come out for game two with the same intensity and honestly, maybe even more. You know they'll face a more focused team in the next one. So they may have to be just a little bit tougher. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And look at the stats. Just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for James Harden. And his playmaking is what stood out to me. Effortlessly creating for his teammates. You can appreciate the fight now, but it isn't how they came into the game. Too little, too late. That final score will look way closer than how this game actually played out. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. And that score probably slams the door for any would-be comebacks. And look, they put this one to bed. Now here's Wright. After the miss from Santos, it's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Crowder. Now Melton, Terry covering. 76ers moving the ball around. Unloads from 13, and it's Drummond missing. Here's A-Train. Off with the layup. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 95. You all have a great day and peace out.